Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pears. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Zai. Anyways, man, I know it's late and I don't really upload as much. And that's, you know, that's basically the reason I don't really upload on YouTube, just to be honest, as much as because they really don't pay me absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I don't really set the ads. I just basically, you know, okay, run ads and that's it. I'm not really telling nobody to watch the ads because, to be honest, if people want to watch them, they're just going to watch them. Begging for people to you know go that route in order to help you out it's just it, it's no need to do it you know what i mean if people want to support your channel they either do that and donate and do something uh but that's why i don't really upload and and don't get me wrong got a lot of things to say but i just really don't upload because uh you know you really got to go into detail about things in order to really get people to pay attention to now i do got interviews coming up and i still got music coming up but that's besides the fact i will get into that in another video but that is coming uh, but basically you can tell by the title exactly what, what I'm going to talk about today and, and I can't really go into too much detail about it because like I say uh, a million times over I'm not here to do the cop's job but and I really don't like speaking on uh, you know subjects such as this because I feel like it's kind of doing the uh, cop's job but I'm not pointing at any individuals telling you to pick them up and uh, to be honest the people that I am going to talk about in this video which would be no names deserve not to be caught and, and, and uh, prosecute deserve to be uh, castrated and, and beat within an inch of their life because the people that they've been catching and doing these uh, uh, you know terrible acts to uh, m are not getting that type of justice you know what I mean so to be honest man I, I decided to do this video because there's a lot of people that's not really even talking about it, to be honest. Nobody's really talking about it outside of a few uh, choice individuals, which is maybe like two Asians so far that I've seen. Nobody really wants to touch on the subject because uh, I think it's considered taboo. You know, if you if you see it, you don't see it. If it has nothing to do with you, you don't speak on it. Now, there's some people that have went outside that and... and, and have no problem pointing the fingers but for the most part it's, it's kind of like the hispanic community and in the black community if you didn't if it ain't your business you, you you don't speak on it and that's just basically uh life goes on you know what i mean and and and, and this is not to downplay any any particular race because you see it in the black community things will be happening nobody get involved uh you'll see it in the hispanic community things that happen nobody get involved you know what i mean uh, and, and you see it in the Asian community a lot, especially like overseas, you know, you see people get ran over this, that, people getting beat with an inch of their life stuck and, and people will walk right past them uh, laying on the concrete. And, and like I said, this is not to point the finger at any particular race because in every race you find these type of people. Now, uh, the situation that I'm talking about is not in another country. I'm talking about the, the acts that have been taking place in this country, you know, you had the one in NY, and you had in a few other places where people are uh, literally being taken advantage, of and not and not like uh, you know where they take their money. They're beating these people with the inch of their life. Some, uh, you know, as far as I know, nobody has died yet, but people are pushing uh, towards that. You know what I mean? It's like the acts are getting even more heinous, and and people are saying absolutely nothing about it because they feel like businesses not not necessarily business as usual but if it's not my problem i it's not my problem and that needs to be broke and and and, and don't get me wrong for the people that know my background i'm never going to tell you to get on i'm never going to get on here and tell you that you need to report them to the cops i'm telling you if you see these uh, these type of acts be taking place you need to get involved and beat them with inch of their life now when it comes to street shit as far as like when it gangs and, and how they handle business being somebody that that's from the street and also did a lot of heinous things in his past i would never uh push for you know cops intervention these people should be made an example of it's like if you beat your wife in chile or let's just say chile or or or, or or some of these uh, Latin American countries, they will literally take you on the street and and let the family beat you within an inch of your life. You have dudes that uh, you know small infractions, and, and they're made they're made to be humiliated in front of everybody. I mean, beat the hell up. And in a lot of countries, they do the same exact thing: rape. They 
you're lucky if you make it to jail. In Colombia, you do this stuff, they, they're stabbing you, shooting you. You might not even make it on the back of the truck because people take the law into their own hands. Now, you know, there's some people that's going to get on here and they're all about law. And, and you know, to you, to each is his own. I'm not about the law. I'm about street justice. If you do something to an individual, you deserve to have the same thing happen to you. The same as me. When I was doing my stuff, whatever I was doing, I deserve to have it you know come back to me tenfold but you know i went to prison i got out you know and it's it's just the way as i feel karma has aligned itself to be honest but like i said i decided to talk about this because you know outside of what i usually talk about which is controversy nobody's really speaking on you had the uh and it's not to point the finger at any race but you had the white dude what he did to that that elderly asian woman Nothing happened, you know what I mean? And, and, and people seen his face, people were around, they witnessed the act, but they, they chose not to intervene, uh, which is nothing new. You had the, the one chick that got stabbed in front of the Foothill police station, and it was everybody was around watching this dude stab her because allegedly uh, she, she rejected his advances, you know what I mean? But that's not to get off topic. Like I said, when it comes to the Asian community, people need to speak up more. And it's honest, I see a, a couple of Asians talk about it. Like when, you know, they, they did stand behind BLM, which don't get me wrong, when it comes to the, the BLM topic, I really don't like to touch on it because I'm on a whole different page when it comes to that. If, if simply for the fact that the party got hijacked and the people that were leading it, but that's on a different story. All I'm saying, is more than one race supported the BLM. Now, when you have Asians being harassed, being beat up, being all types of stuff has been happening to them, and yet nobody's out here speaking. What happened to BLM? Why isn't BLM out there pressing the concrete as hard as these people were going for them? Why ain't nobody speaking up? I know, you know, the, it's, the Asian community is not a small community, but nobody is speaking up for them. It's like it, it's business as usual, which it shouldn't. And there should be more channels out there speaking on this. Like I said, I'm not advocating for anybody to go to jail. I'm advocating for people to get hurt for doing what they do to these people because it's, like I said, I'll just stop right there, you know what I mean? I'm not doing the cop's job. If you're out there beating on Asians for absolutely no reason, you deserve to get your ass beat even harder. Some of you deserve to die for the stuff that you did. I'm not advocating violence, but you just deserve it. It's what you do. If you put that energy out in the world, the same thing needs to come right back to you. The same way I was out there, uh, uh, you know, with, with, with the hint they're pushing for the, the, the children to get released from the cage, which Biden, what happened? Did the same exact thing that you said that he was going to, but that's on a whole nother subject. You know what I mean? We're not going to get into politics, but it's real. It's like more people need to be standing up for these people. I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of this, you know, a lot of the Asian community came out in droves in order to make sure that, that people's voices were heard. You know what I mean? It's like, like I tell you, when I went to the protest, I seen more, uh, I seen more of a, a, of other races than I seen blacks, and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? It's not to downplay it, but it's just to show you how people were really pushing a certain agenda. And now, what happened? Now the Asian community's silent, and now the people that that were in need of the Asian community pushing for them are no longer willing to to put the same effort towards helping them. You know what I mean? It's just, it's one of those things, like I said, I may be all over the place, but I'm not going to get into statistics exactly how many Asians have been hurt since. I'm just telling you, it's happening and people need to speak up on it. If you see it happening, handle your business. Plain and simple. But I, I, I'll, I'll say this to end it. The people that are doing these particular acts are individuals that feel like this community is not strong enough to fight back. Which you, you're picking on, you're, you're going after people that are physically incapable 
of harming you. You're not going in the street. You're not attacking uh, uh, gangbangers because for anybody that has known, you know what I mean, whether it's from the Filipinos to the and on, if you if you're dealing with the gangbangers and the gangsters and the and the people that's really willing to hurt you, and don't get me wrong, not only gangbangers, there's people out there who really hurt you back if they see you doing certain things. But if you really feel like 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 you want to test yourself, go after a lot of these gangbangers. Go to Long Beach. They go go do that, but you won't. Why? Because you know you're not gonna make it out of there. All I'm saying is. People should start speaking up. Don't let it just be drowned out and, you know, you want to speak up when they actually kill four, five, six people. And then you want to, you know, go on there because you want your voice to be heard. And, and not necessarily your voice, but you want to be that face on TV. Like, look, here I am advocating uh, 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 against people that are harming the Asian community. Just be one of those. Be a leader. Speak up, man. You know what I mean? I'm an ex-con, ex-gangbanger, but... but some people consider me still a gamer, but whatever. At the end of the day, they don't deserve to get hurt, and you need to speak up. And if you see it happening, you need to bust a grave. Don't sit there and let it just be done. Because if you can see an individual harm a 90-year-old woman and do absolutely nothing about it, then you're a coward. And and it's understandable. Their business their business, but not no 90-year-old woman. I don't for what the situation is. That should not be happening. Anyways, man, like I said, I'm usually toxic when it comes to certain things. But seeing this constant and nobody's really saying nothing about it, you know what I mean? It's just it's it's, it's just not that time. Racism is racism. You need to you need to push back, you know what I mean? And for the Asians that refuse to speak up for your own people, something is wrong with you. Do what you need to do to rectify this shit. You know, and not advocating violence, but stop being the victim and start making people the victim. Maybe it's the coffee. Anyway, you enjoy the rest of your night. I'm your boy Zod. I got a few more videos coming out that people ain't going to like, but it is what it is on that note. And for the people that keep asking about this not, why are you so worried about it, dog? You want to see that or not? Buddha. Anyway, I'm out. Kneel before Zod.